Right now, video conferencing software has never been more prevalent in people's lives. They are, I wouldn't say forced, but they, they have to engage with the camera on their desktop to engage in virtual conversations during their lives. And I would suggest that one takes the advantage of that uh, opportunistic time. People are more accepting of being in front of camera or talking to camera. So now is the time to start your virtual video production. And this video, I'm just going to cover a few ideas that will help you get started. But the most important thing is to brainstorm and produce a video content plan, a roadmap of what video content you want to produce, perhaps over the life cycle of your customer journey. What different videos that will engage and nurture them along the way. And the importance of doing that is so that you can organize your virtual video production shoots so that you get that content. So let's dive straight into it. The first one's simple, a webinar. And yes, we all know that they go for a long duration of time. So how about thinking in advance about breaking that webinar up into different topics? Shorter pieces, perhaps two or three minutes in duration, that are going to be digested by your prospective clients, customers, who have a limited time span, attention time span. So shorter videos on topics. And what you'll need to do is start to organize the questions and the breaks that are necessary during the webinar to get that content. You might have mini introductions along the way, bearing in mind that's what you're trying to produce. And how about a trailer, a 30 second trailer promoting that webinar? You can achieve this by specifically asking the question or producing a summary at the end or at the beginning of your webinar that you know will be cut nice and short for that trailer promoting your webinar through social media, for instance. It could be a trailer with one click to the main longer version, which is perhaps hosted on your website. Secondly, thought leadership videos. I'll give you an example of what I mean. Obviously, we are professional video production experts, but our audience benefits from content in the marketing and communications field. So recently we partnered with a number of um, contacts in that field who are offering or experts in their uh, chosen subject. For instance, digital marketing is something that our clients would love to hear about. Um, so we have done that. And then lastly, I've got testimonials. Uh, a great opportunity to contact your client to see if they do or be willing to be on a virtual video where you can ask them questions about their customer journey with you and their experiences. But also, you can achieve the same information in a bigger production. I'll give you an example. A client of ours recently came to us with a one and a half hour long webinar that they'd recorded with two of their clients and it was a deep dive into their software product looking at the operation, the customer's journey along the way, and ultimately the results. We got that transcribed and identified so much gold, so many good uh, testimonials within that. And what we did, we produced a motion graphics piece. So we actually put text on screen as to what those testimonials were, and we incorporated the audio as well. Now the audio wasn't the best of quality, but the story was there. It was so compelling and interesting that in this shorter duration testimonial piece with music and photographs and screenshots and the important text, motion graphics, it worked very well. So there's another idea. And our next video will be on how to go about setting up the virtual video production online. 